count them, 10 state soccer championships today. Let's not waste our time. We start with Class A up at Mesolonsky High School. Deering's first ever trip to a state final, taking on Lewiston. Lewiston had success with a through ball today. Tegra Mabele makes it 1 0 Blue Devils. A few minutes later, Deering's Ethan Fisher evens it on the PK. End of the first half, another break in. Mohamed Gabao off to the races, 2 to 1 Lewiston at the break. 56 minute, Chandrel Mengelaza ties it for Deering and hands down the celebration of the year. Goes to overtime in OT, another through ball. Mabelli with the golden goal. Lewiston wins it all, 3 to 2 in OT. The fourth goal ball in eight years for the Blue Devils. Bangor and Scarborough battling for the A Girls Championship. Second half, Lana Juranovic at the PK stripe. Converts, Scarborough goes up 1-0. 76th minute, Maya Taylor with the rocket into the corner. No coming back from that. Scarborough captures the championship 2-0 as they repeat as A winners. B-Boys, Yarmouth and John Babst in a rematch of last year's final. The Clippers looking for the four-peat. Clippers waste no time off the deflection. Zach Kelly to Zach Turkle walking in. 29 seconds in, it's 1-0 Yarmouth. Then Adam McLaughlin's corner kick. Johnny Fulton, the perfect header, back into the crease where Zach Kelly punches it in. 2 to nothing Yarmouth. Moments later, perfectly executed free kick. McLaughlin again to Fulton, heading it back into the middle. Mihailo Medanitsa scores. Seven different scores tonight for Yarmouth. They win it 7 to nothing. The Clippers 4 Pete. Eight titles in the last nine years. 15 boys soccer championships in school history. Yarmouth girls looking for a repeat in Class B. Early stages, Maya Haggerty plays it into the box. Brooke Boone runs onto it and slides it in. Yarmouth goes up 1-0. Yarmouth, some nice passing, a beautiful combo here. Caden Devorn and Anya Powers back and forth, back and forth, and then Powers getting to the middle of the field, dancing across, and then a rocket into the corner. 2-0, Yarmouth wins it. Clippers go back to back and win the school's sixth state championship in girls soccer. Class C boys unbeaten Mount Abram and George Stevens in the C game. First half scoreless. The corner by Mount Abram's Morgan Thibodeau. Sneaks it through the crease and past the defense and goalie. one nothing Roadrunners. Later in the half, a chance for GSA, but Logan Doobie covers up to make the save. It's still one nothing. Second half, still one nothing. A chance for Mount Abram off the cross. Looks like Bear Rollins has a goal, but it's disallowed. Ruled the keeper had possession. But that was enough. That first half goal by Thibodeau. And Mount Abram wins its first ever championship in soccer. First Mountain Valley Conference school to win since 2004. It's been a lot of years of pain, suffering. Uh, we've worked really hard for this uh, for this season, so uh, really proud of everyone. We got a great team, and uh, this is for the community, the, the team. Fort Kent and Wayne Fleet girls in the C championship. A great chance for the Flyers in a scoreless game. Ten to play. Lucy Hart denied by Mia Voicy. What a save! It goes to overtime, then to penalty kicks, then to a second set of penalty kicks. Flyers goalie Ayla Stutzman with a huge save. Then Stutzman uses a shooter, she scores. Then Liza Lawson, a chance to clinch it, and the defender puts it away. They win it in PK's 4-1 and win the Class C State Championship over Fort Kent, the Flyers' ninth girls soccer state championship. Easton and Monmouth in the Class D boys championship. 2-0 Mustangs in the second half. Big scrum in front of the Easton net. Brandon Smith comes out with the goal. Mustangs putting things away up 3-0. A few minutes later, Patrick Strout makes it 4-0. Monmouth is your D-Boys champion, 5-3 over Easton. St. Dom's and Penobscot Valley in a showdown in Class D girls. Penobscot Valley getting some great defense. Brooklyn Raymond with the shutout. Some good chances for St. Dom's, but it's Penobscot Valley with the 1-0 win in the Class D Girls Championship game. Now